Dr. Ashton also juggles many, many talents for us here on live national television, and she is here to answer more of your questions about COVID-19. So the first one, what are the latest projections for vaccine rollout in the U.S.? That is the million-dollar mm, question. It sure is. So by Saturday this past weekend, we had administered 4.2 million doses in just under three weeks. At that rate, at that pace, we are not going to make a dent in this pandemic. We need to scale up and scale up quickly. So I think that the name of the game is not really focusing on a number or a goal. It's to vaccinate as many people as possible. And we have to have the operation systems in place to do that. It will not be accomplished vaccinating 100 people or 1,000 people in one area in one day. We need to vaccinate tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people every single day. And we're not getting it done at all. All right, I think you said it a lot. That's terrible. We have four million. That, that's we're moving ahead, yeah. but that is not uh -uh. a good. That no. is not a good number. No. All right. And, and for a lot of folks here, how can I find out? Here's a question too. How can I find out when I'll actually get a COVID-19 vaccination? Yeah, you guys. I saw patients yesterday. Every single yes. patient asked mm -hmm. me the very same question. Now we have to remember the states are in charge of this. So in some states, you can look on Stop and Shop, Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens. They will have information about how. You you can schedule an appointment. Other states have bigger centers. So get online, do your homework, but do it regularly because what is happening is if states are not using the vaccines that they have already received, they will not receive more. So there may be areas where you could say, well, guess what? I wasn't in group 1A or 1B, but they said I could come on in and get vaccinated because very quickly we're just going to need to start vaccinating as many people as possible, regardless of what group. Well, but the onus is on you to find yeah. out when and where. Yeah. OK. All right. Next question. Can you settle the debate of whether or not coconut oil is healthy? And there was just something about this, Dr. Jen, yep. uh, in The New York Times, correct? So I get this question in my nutritionist hat a <laughs> lot because there's been a lot of creative marketing of coconut oil as a so-called superfood or very healthy fat in the world of nutritional science and dietetics <laughs> they are they are not um, really entertaining that thought this is a fatty acid it's a saturated fat that has been shown to increase the LDL or lousy cholesterol clogging the arteries of our heart so in very small amounts in moderation sure I use it as on skin and nails and hair great but to use it free flowing like it's completely safe it's actually higher in saturated fat than butter so uh, question number four I, I actually use it as a makeup remover they have me use it as a makeup that is, is that okay? safe and doctor nutritionist approved okay <laughs> Thank you for submitting your questions. <laughs> oh, you can continue to do so. Uh, to Dr. Jen on her Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Thank you for entertaining that last one. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.